So I decided to go down to Wolvercote to do some photography around the lake, around the bridge, and a little bit of train spotting. I wanted to take my new lens, which is in my hand, is the Sony 20 to 70 f4 lens. Everyone's been asking me, why am I not shooting on an f2.8 lens? Well, in particular, you don't really need to shoot at an f2.8 just to get great photos. I mean, f4 is much more than enough. You can get an incredible background bouquet if you're doing portrait photography. Ever since I loved doing landscape photography, nature photography, it would not look great under low light because you do require f2.8. Now, generally, I would only need to use f2.8 when it's necessary in order to avoid grain on my camera. But for this one, I decided to take my new lens, which I now be relying on shooting videos on the Sony ZV-E1. But for photography, I decided to give this a special treat. So I went down to Wolvercote, Wolvercote Lake, Wolvercote Bridge to do some nature photography and a little bit of landscape photography. And all, yeah. And a bit of train spotting as well too. Hope you enjoy the video.
What I really love about this lens is that you have the ultra wide, well near ultra wide of shooting wide angle shots when you do wide angle photography. And if you want to punch it up and zoom in into like a very tight space, you can go all the way up to 70, which is incredible. Now, the reason why I chose this is one, this has the iris lock, like it doesn't have on my 16 to 25 that I'm shooting right now, or the 24 to 50. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the 24 to 50 f2.8 because this is also my favorite lens to use for photography because it has an f2.8 aperture. But ever since I have not relied too much on f2.8 because you don't really need to, because if you want to take incredible photos, you just need to find the ways to get the shots right. And as long as the f-stop does cover everything that are sharp, you should be able to get a better shot of this photos that you're shooting in. I know it can be difficult for most photographers out there because they seem to love shooting at f2.8 when it comes to zoom lenses. I have no regrets in buying this lens because I do want to use it for videos. Of course, I will use it for photography because Obviously, I like to zoom in at 70 millimeters, but I know I may miss out on an f2.8 when it comes to zooming in at 70 millimeters, but that doesn't stop me from doing so if I use the 24 to 50 on APS-C mode. So with that said, I really hope you've enjoyed my photography vlog around Wolver Coat. I will see you soon in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and just remember, always live life and have a happy life. Take care, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye for now.